We're meeting with the two governments this afternoon and with all the parties, and our commitment and our resolve is to see these institutions put in place on the basis that they were founded on as quickly as possible. And you know, that could be done by this time tomorrow morning or it could be done by dinner time today. The issues are very, very clear cut. They're all rights issues. They're all the subject of previous agreements that all the parties uh, signed up to. So we, we're looking forward especially to the meeting with the, the DUP and the DUP leader. Uh, they too have had a good election and we uh, congratulate them on, on that. Now, I know their focus is on what's happening in London, and it's very important to say that we don't believe that any deal between the DUP here and the English Tories will be good for the people here. And any deal which uh, undercuts in any way the process here or the Good Friday and the other agreements is one which has to be opposed by progressives. And that puts a huge onus on the Taoiseach, and there's an incoming Taoiseach. Uh, I noted, and I think Taoiseach and the Kenny was right when he expressed concerns about this deal directly with the British Prime Minister. So he now needs to act upon that concern, face up to it, that there is a, a co-equal responsibility on the Irish government to ensure that all aspects of these agreements are implemented. So it's an interesting time in both British politics and in uh, Irish politics. Remember, the train coming down the track is Brexit, and uh, we all of us need to be uh, much fit to face up to the responsibilities. There. And what we need is a united executive, a united executive which has a long-term strategic view which is to the mutual advantage of everyone who lives in this island, particularly those who live in this part of the island.